Okay, this is the spoilers review of Dark Disciple. If you have not read the book yet, I repeat, have not read the book yet, you can watch my no spoilers review by clicking here. If you watch past this point, don't get all pissy when you hear something you didn't want to know. All right, still here? Let's do it. All right, let me start by making this very clear. I really do love this book. I really do. It takes you on a real Star Wars journey, and you get to know two of the most complex characters in the Star Wars universe next to Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Matter of fact, I literally burst out laughing when Anakin volunteers to join Quinlan Voss on his mission to assassinate Count Dooku. If you know anything about Quinlan Voss, you already know what it would be like teaming him up with Anakin Skywalker. And then when Kenobi debriefs Voss about Ventress, you totally get it. We've seen them in action together before, so you know that teaming Voss up with her is going to be a fun ride. And Christy Golden does not disappoint either. When Voss and Ventress finally meet, it's pure comedy. Ventress is so annoyed with Voss. She calls him idiot as a nickname, and I would expect nothing less. And he's trying to hide the fact that he's a Jedi, so sometimes he ends up just getting in her way. But he offers some convenient help from time to time as well. You get a strong understanding of the chemistry between them, too. Especially after he reveals he's a Jedi and this whole plot to assassinate Count Dooku and they go to Dathomir so she can train him in the dark side of the Force. The best thing about this book is how you get to see Ventress drift closer to the light side and Voss drift closer to the dark. We even get a complete mission with Boba Fett and the team that Ventress worked with in the fourth season of The Clone Wars. And then, when Voss is being rescued by Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Asajj, we get to see just how blind the Jedi are to the dark side. It sounds a whole lot like when conspiracy theorists try to convince me that the Illuminati are trying to take over the world. Bro, you need to wake up. The Illuminati's taking over the whole world. What the fuck is the Illuminati? It's a secret society that worships the devil. They be having the media trying to brainwash us. They be putting chemicals in our food, in the air, and they be having gay ritual butt sex. But if they're a secret society, how do you know so much about them? And if they're putting chemicals in the air, wouldn't that affect them too? And gay ritual butt sex, who the fuck cares? Dog, I be reading about it online. Online where? Wikipedia and YouTube. You ain't know? <sighs> this is how Ventress was trying to convince Anakin and Obi-Wan that Voss has turned to the dark side. Only she made more sense and was saying something that was actually true. Finally, we get to see the Jedi completely lose their way using more and more dark side tactics, but the only one who could see it was Ventress. And now we've come to the only one thing that I didn't like about this book. And I know many of you who love Ventress feel the same way. Ventress dies. I mean, fuck, you make us practically fall in love with the character and then give us so much backstory about her that we're fully invested. Then take her out. I mean, she gets a full pardon from the Jedi for all her past war crimes and then gets caught up in Quinlan's BS and dies saving his life. I mean, I get it. Voss wanted to get closer to Sidious and he wanted to take out Dooku all at the same time and he loved Ventress and all that drove him to the dark side. Yeah, it's the only direction Ventress' story could go in, based on what we know about Voss. You missed the reports on the Outer Rim sieges. I'm sorry, I was held up. I have no excuse. In short, they are going very well. Seleucomai has fallen, and Master Voss has moved his troops to Boss Pity. But really, I didn't want her to die. I mean, she was one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars. At least... Give her some kind of legacy. I, I was hoping that maybe she had a child with Voss. 
But that would add another character into the Rebellion era that would be strong in the Force, so... That would be too much competition with Luke, Leia, and... Ezra. So, now the only thing we have left from the Night Sisters is... Darth Maul. But seriously? Maul survives getting halved? Ventress has to die? I am so mad at you, Katie Lucas. You gave Ventress hope, but then left her with practically nothing but a reason for the Jedi to recognize their mistakes, which in the end, they still failed to realize. So if you saw my no spoilers review, now you know why my verdict was a B minus. So yeah, I might be a little emotional and giving it a lower rating because I'm angry, but damn it, Ventress was awesome. And you took her from us! No! <laughs> so that's it. That's my review. I'm saying goodbye to Asajj Ventress. One of the greatest characters ever written in the Star Wars universe. 